What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in and let's go. Yeah! Okay, it's okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about Donald Trump's VP pick. That's the latest rave. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's have their speculation and wants to know. Who is Donald Trump is going to pick to be his running mate? What qualities are you looking for in your vice presidential pick? Well, always the first quality has to be somebody that you think will be a good president, because if something should happen, you have to have somebody that's going to be a great president. And this is so, this is one of Donald Trump's little tricks, right? You notice nobody's talking about Nikki Henry, right? This is the way. This is how Donald Trump sucks the energy, sucks the media time away from people. Now, instead of him going head to head with Nikki Haley and mention her name and, and bring attention to her, he is talking over her. He doesn't wave. He doesn't wave past her now. He's not even bringing it up, right? Because he already know he's going to be the, the nominee. And once he's the nominee, the um. The White House had to bring him in and he had to go through briefings and all that good stuff. They always do that. But they need Nikki Hillary out the way. And instead of even mentioning her name, he don't even mention her name. He is talking over her. So what do you say? He's bringing up the Veep states who he's going to pick for vice president. He don't have to mention anybody right now. He could wait till the convention, RNC convention, but to get the media attention away from Nikki Haley, he's talking about my VP pick. Some people used to say I was running because I really wanted to be vice president. <laughs> I think I've pretty well settled that question. Has she settled that question? Well, I settled it about three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's talking about Nikki Haley. We got Super Tuesday coming up in a few weeks. And she is trying her hardest. She's doing speeches. Nobody's there. No, no media is there because they're over there focusing on Donald Trump and who Donald Trump was going to pick for VP. Brilliant move. Sucking the media attention away from her. So she's sitting there flapping in the wind. Nobody is covering her and she's dying for attention. Nobody's covering her speeches. Nobody covering her campaigns anymore. And this is the way to drown out the noise. Because again, she's out there by herself. Out uh, Just now a few days before the big primary, and among those very likely to vote, you're up over Nikki Haley by close to a two to one margin, wow. 63 to 35. I know she'll have a chance to win. The only reason she's there is to delay Trump. And so Trump is over talking her. And everybody, all the media is falling into who he's going to pick for VP. Let's take a listen to a clip at the town hall. A lot of people are talking about that gentleman right over there. <laughs> 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 
And he's been, he's been so great. He's been such a great advocate. I, I have to say, I don't, this is in a very positive way, Tim Scott. He has been much better for me than he was for himself. I watched his campaign, <laughs> and he doesn't like talking about himself. But boy, does he talk about Trump. We see that a lot of people want Tim Scott. And Tim Scott is a good guy, I guess, right? But he's not going to pick Tim Scott. And there's a reason why. That I believe. I'm going to make a little speculation myself. Um, he's not going to pick Tim Scott because Tim Scott just got married. Tim Scott is damn near 50-something. I forget his age. Tim Scott's up there, and this is his first time being married. And he marries a baby mama. Sir, you waited your whole life. You built your career this high. You're at the top of you're a senator. And your first marriage is a baby mama, an old baby mama. You can't even have kids with her. What was the point? What's the purpose? Now, I have no smoke for Tim Scott, but I got to mention this because the media is going to jump on you about this too. You're in your 50s. Your first marriage is a white baby mama with old kids already. Right? There was speculations of Tim Scott and his sexuality. Same as Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham, he's a bachelor for life, but, you know, his mannerism is kind of whoo hoo hoo right? Tim Scott is going to be a distraction. If if Tim Scott is nominated, the media is going to jump down Tim Scott and uncover all type of stuff. You married a baby mama? Dude, what was that about? A white baby mama? <laughs> And then it was like just before you became a nominee for president, you married this baby mama, dude. So again, again, I, hey, I got to bring it out because they're going to bring it out too. So this is why I, I believe that he's not going to pick Tim Scott because he's going to be a distraction. Before we begin, I'd like to take time to congratulate Ron DeSantis and, of course, a... Really terrific person who had gotten to know his wife, Casey, for having run a great campaign for president. He did. He ran a, a really good campaign, I will tell you. It's not easy. They think it's easy doing this stuff, right? It's not easy. But as you know, he left the campaign trail today at 3 p.m., and in so doing, he was very gracious, and he endorsed me. So I appreciate it. On the second pick, everybody believed that he might pick Ron DeSantis. Now, DeSantis is a good governor from Florida, and, you know, he gave him a run for his money. I don't believe he's going to pick Ron DeSantis because Ron DeSantis is from Florida. He already have Florida on lock. Florida's not going to turn blue. Now, if Florida was purple or bluish, he probably would pick them, but they both are from Florida. Why would he pick somebody from Florida? He's going to need somebody to a state, somebody from a state that he's going to need. That. The audience has uh, been asked who they think would be a good choice, and various names came up. Um, uh, one of them was, of course, Vivek Ramaswamy. No. He's made a big splash. And he's not going to pick the little Indian guy, Vaswamy. Okay. I think I'm saying his name right, but he's not going to pick him either. Although he was a nice little firecracker, he did all the talking points of Donald Trump, little Donald, little Indian Donald Trump, but he was a plant. He was funded by source money. So I don't think he's going to pick him either. It's, it's, it's just too, he, he's too much. He's too much. And I don't think he's going to pick him either. A big uh, presence here for Tulsi Gabbard. Um, very interesting. Another one is Tulsi Gobert. Now, she is popular because she's cute, I guess. And, you know, she's a Republican riding star. But the only thing about her is her Second Amendment. Man, she is like Mitch McConnell. She's really not a strong Second Amendment advocate. And um, I don't believe that Trump should pick a woman just because he should get the woman's vote. So this is why I believe that he's not going to pick her either. But shit, 
Stranger things have happened. You would like to get somebody that could help you from the voter standpoint. And honestly, all of those people are good. They're all good. They're all solid. And I always say I want people with common sense because there's so many things happening in this country that don't make sense. That's my thought for the day, guys. If you got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you haters, get off my lawn.